It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to the Hump Day edition of the Mike Prince Show, coming to you each and every day right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is openmicradio.com. And our 24-hour dial-in message line, 713-570-6736. Today's episode made possible through attorney Lee Van Richardson of Hempstead, Texas, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Diva Skin Conditioner, and Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, located at 3019 Waller Street in Waller, Texas. And without any further delay, we're going to jump right into today's episode. Last night was the beginning of our 2019-20 basketball coverage for our local high school area and the Walla Bulldogs led by Layla Blair put on a display hosting Angleton on last night. Bulldogs victorious over Angleton 59 to 53. Layla Blair led all scores. She had 22 points, so a strong performance for her as she is already committed to be a Cougar, representing the University of Houston. On the collegiate circuit, there was no action last night for the Southwestern Athletic Conference on the hardwood for the women. But tonight has a pretty good schedule. Tip-off starting at 6 p.m. will feature Murray State at Mississippi Valley. Tugelo will be at Southern University. Jackson State will be at Northwestern. That tip-off will be at 6.30. Grambling will be hosting Centery at 7 p.m. On the men's side of the hardwood, the Panthers fell short last night to Texas State, 75-48. to Leading scorer for the Panthers was Linnell Henry. He had a total of 10 points with 33 minutes of action. Also had six rebounds and one assist to add with one block. Leading scorer for Texas State Bobcats was Nigel Pearson. Pearson had a total of 23 points, five rebounds, one assist, one steal, and one block. Panthers record. Also one and two, while Texas State improves to two and one. Other scores throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference, Western Michigan 91, Mississippi Valley 81. Alcorn 111, Paul Quinn 59. Tulane 88, Jackson State 79. And the University of Houston was victorious over Alabama State by a score of 84 to 56. There's only one game on Scheduled for tonight in the Southwest Athletic Conference, that will feature the Grambling State Tigers taking on Southeast Louisiana with a 7 p.m. tip-off. So although it's rather early in the basketball season, we know this is the season to make it rain. (laughs) I'm playing the guaranteed games. They still add up at the end of the day. Grambling is at 2-0. Southern University is at 1-1. Alcorn and Prairie View at 1-2. Alabama A&M's 0-2, as well as Texas Southern, Arkansas Pine Bluff. Jackson State and Alabama State are 0-3, and and Mississippi Valley is at 0-4. Those are the standings on the men's side of the hardwood. On the women's side of the hardwood, Texas Southern's at 1-0. Prairie View, Alabama State, and Southern are all at 1-1. Arkansas Pine Bluff and Alabama A&M are at 0-1. Jackson State and Mississippi Valley at 0-2. And and Gramlin and Alcorn are at 0-3. So basketball just getting off the ground, but still we want to try to keep our finger on the post and keep things flowing and going for you here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We want to take us a quick break and we'll be right back with more of the Mike Prince Show, right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Keep it where you got it, and we'll be right back. Are you looking to expand your business or services? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network help lead the way. With our customized campaigns, we are definitely able to reach your target audience. 
For more information, dial 832-213-8824. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics. The voice of student athletics. And welcome back to the Open Mic Broadcast Network and the Mike Prince Show right here each and every day, trying to shed a little light on the situation. And speaking of shedding some light, reminding you that the Panthers will be taking on the Stanford Cardinals this Friday in the NCAA soccer tournament. It will be a 7 p.m. kickoff locally, but Central Standard Time, that will be at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. So that'll be a late night, but it would be and should be well worth it when it comes to showing your support for the Panthers and the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Before we go any further, we do want to extend a congratulations to Ms. Latanya Thurston. It was made public and official on yesterday that she has the interim tag removed as the Sports Information Director at Prairie View A&M University. So the dawn of a new era has officially began. And speaking of the dawn of a new era, Grambling State Tigers have definitely understood and accepted that title here of late. And our college football weekend that comes ahead has some pretty exciting football laid out on the table. There is one significant uh, non-conference battle. We will have Alabama State taking on Florida State, 11 a.m. kickoff this coming weekend. But there should be a general focus and attention paid to Mississippi Valley as they'll be hosting Gramlin State at 1 p.m. Saturday. Gramlin trying to stay hot. Last time these two got together was a pretty intense matchup. Gramlin came out on top by the score of 24 to 19. Now, one thing about this Valley program, it is improved. It's not shown in the win-loss column. A much more aggressive style of play on the defensive side of things led by Coach Dancy. Right now, I think the Achilles heel with Valley is trying to get some type of identity from the offensive side of the ball. But it should be a very interesting matchup. One thing we do know is that Valley will not lay down. Grambling brings a 5-4 and record overall into this contest they're number two in the west right now mississippi valley state will bring a two and seven overall record they're in the number five spot of the east of the southwestern athletic conference other games of significance will feature alabama a&m down at the reservation technically it is number one against number three alabama a&m is at six and four. Alcorn is at six and three. Needless to say that if Alcorn can hold off the Bulldogs, it would be another monumental stage set up for Jackson State and Alcorn, which will meet on the final game of the regular season. Mathematically, Jackson State has been eliminated. They're four and six overall. They're in the number four slot. Alabama State, who holds the number two spot in the East, are reminding folks, hey, you can't totally forget about us just yet. Even though they're playing outside the conference, they'll have a game set up with Prairie View Thanksgiving Day once they've completed this game against Florida State. They'll go into a bye week and then get prepared for the Thanksgiving showdown. So the focus is going to be on Alabama A&M, who are, as we mentioned, technically in the third spot due to the fact that they're 3-2 and two in conference play. But due to the fact of the head-to-head competition that they had against Alabama State, they were victorious 43-41, to 41, if you remember that exciting showdown, the Magic City Classic. So they would then leap back into actually the number one spot 
if they're able to pull off the victory over Alcorn State. So the showdowns from the East will be Alabama A&M and Alcorn. And from the West, it will be Valley and Grambling State due to the weight factor of those two games. If Grambling loses, Southern will be guaranteed to represent the Western Division. If Alcorn wins, they would be guaranteed to represent the Eastern Division. And you would have a rematch of Alcorn and Southern. The plot thickens and can't wait to see how it unfolds. Speaking of unfolding, it's time for me to exit stage left. I want to thank you guys so much for your daily support of the network. Once again, congratulations to Miss Layla Blair, outstanding senior guard from Walla High School, on her way to be a part of Cougar Nation. Reminding you guys to join us daily right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network and the Mike Prince Show. Don't forget about the Carlos Brown Show on Saturdays from 10 to 12. The Sports Report Live Sunday nights at 9 p.m. I've got the exit stage left for right now. But until the next time, you guys be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side.